Hey guys, so when I was a kid and my parents told me I couldn't do something like mixing all the cereal together or stealing the neighbor's cat, I always replied with, when I'm an adult, I'll do all of those things. Also, you're not my real mum. She was my real mum. But guess what? I'm an adult now. Say what? So as a service to my childhood self, I am gonna do some of the things that my parents wouldn't let me do as a kid, except for stealing cats, because that's still a little bit illegal. Let's go. Mixing all my cereal together in the same bowl. So whenever I went to Asda with my mom, I'd be like, mom, can we get all of the cereal? I wanna put them all in the same bowl and then make the ultimate cereal of destiny. And she'd be like, no, Phil, that's a waste of money. Well, I disagree. You can make cocktails. Why can't I mix all the cereal together to make a cereal tail? So first I got some lion cereal, which is cereal, Obviously, <laughs> I mean, caramel, chocolate, and a little bit of angst. Yes. Next up, we got some golden nugs. It's uh, <laughs> basically just yellow balls of sugar. Apparently they taste yeehaw, so how could this go wrong? Also, <laughs> the serving suggestion is to just put them on a trowel and shove them in your mouth, which is my motto for a lot of things in life. Get those nugs in the bowl. Next, the furry fandom's favorite cereal, Frosties, with muscular tiger daddy. <laughs> I can't say the phrase muscular tiger daddy on my channel. Uh, Tony, I forgot his name then. I must call him Freddy. Freddy the tiger, sure. Um, that would make sense with Frosties. Frost Freddy the, 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 the shut up, Phil. And finally, we've got some Lucky Charms. These are like 100 pounds in the UK, so I got myself a little tub. You know what the deal is, sugary marshmallowy goodness, blessed by an Irish person. Need to get loads of marshmallows in there. Yes. I think Lil Phil was onto something. I don't know why this would be a mistake. Right, need to mix them up. I have washed my hands, don't worry. Could I use this for some kind of serial ASMR Instagram? Yeah. Okay, I think I've got everything on one spoon. Here we go. Bottoms up. Why, why is my bottom up? I won't think about that. Okay, here we go. Mm. Wow. So much is happening in my mouth right now. I think that is the sweetest thing I've ever eaten, but it is freaking delicious. There's like a bit of chocolatiness. I think the main flavor coming through is the Lucky Charms because they're so potent. But generally, it just tastes like sugary heaven. See, I thought the lion cereal might be a mistake, but it's kind of elevating the whole thing. What would the name be? Frosted Lucky Lion Nuggets. <laughs> that does not sound good. I do feel like I'm gonna go into a sugar coma, but Five stars from me. Take that, Kath. No. Photocopying my face. Another thing I really wanted to do was scan or photocopy my face. I don't know what it was. Maybe I saw it in a movie, but I just really wanted to put my face in photocopiers. <laughs> Whenever I saw one, I was like, I want to photocopy my face. But my dad would never let me do it to his photocopier because he said I'd cover it in face grease. Thanks for calling your son greasy. I also had a slight compulsion to photocopy my bare ass, but I won't be doing that for your viewing pleasure today. Maybe after I switch off the camera. Whoa, this is a workout. My old printer broke. Sounds broken, but it still works as a scanner. So I thought I could scan my face <laughs> because that's what I wanted to do when I was a kid. It's got my honey. It's eating me. <laughs> what is it doing? <laughs> Calm down. No, I didn't want that to happen. I think this is like a literal laser. So I'm going to close my eyes so I don't go blind. No going back now. I'm going to move my face with the scanner. Here we go. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> that is actually horrifying. Imagine if that was on the wall in a horror film. All right, I think I need to press my face more into the scanner. All right, here we go. What? I close my, my eyes. eyes. So I don't go blind. <laughs> It looks like some kind of medical experiment went wrong. I said I wouldn't look at the light, so I guess now I'm blind. It also kind of looks like I'm angrily making out with myself. I'm gonna print those out and send them to a gallery. Talking to strangers. Obviously, I wasn't allowed to talk to random strangers because they might kill me, but now I'm an adult, I can do it all the time. And I've got the magic of the internet. So I thought, we could see <laughs> who's out there. So I'm gonna go to Omegle. What do you wanna talk about? What were my interests when I was a kid? Pokemon, food, I'll do. <laughs> Pokemon or food? Oh, Buffy. Right, let's go. Oh, we both like food. Hi, F. They're typing F to pay their respects. Oh, they're female. Male. Oh, they've gone. Betrayal. Oh, maybe they were a lesbian. These are enthusiastic. Hey. <laughs> They just said, food. I just mixed all my cereal together in one bowl. And was it divine? <laughs> Am I talking to myself in a different universe? Or disgust tang? 
It was 10 out of 10 divine. I ascended to heaven. Please share the cereal. Put a spoon in your mouth. Okay, I've made it creepier than the stranger. I'm sorry. And then they disconnected. Wow. Betrayal. Hi, I'm female, 20 years old. I'm so bored in my bed and I need someone too fun. <laughs> so I'd be like, do you want to play Spyro the Dragon? Oh, she's gone. I feel like she was a robot. <laughs> Hope she finds someone too fun. Now I'm seeing why my parents wouldn't let me speak to strangers. There must be someone nice out there. Shove. Okay, that's enough of you. Strangers are bad. This was a bad idea. <laughs> Would we have better results with video? Let's have a look. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Don't want to know what was going on there. Hi. That was a bathrobe. Why does no one want to be my friend? That was a serial killer's basement. I'm 100% sure of that. Okay. That is not how to behave in public, Jeremy. Hi. Want to be best friends? Hey, I don't mind. It M here. M2. What should we do for our first activity? Oh, <laughs> nothing, bro. Just wish you success and luck, brother. Take care. That is the wholesomeness I needed. There we go. Faith restored in strangers. Watch an 18 rated movie. I was always obsessed with watching a movie that was 18 rated. Obviously my parents didn't let me because they were responsible adults. But the one that they would never let me watch was A Nightmare on Elm Street about Freddy Krueger with knife hands that attacked people in their dreams. But in all my life I've never seen it because my parents were like, this is a cursed video. So I'm gonna watch the first death scene and see if it would have been suitable for young Phil. I might have to censor this because I heard it's quite gruesome. Oh God. She's not having a good time. This is a lot more gruesome than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, she's floating around the room. Her boyfriend doesn't seem to care. What is turning the lamp on gonna do, Bobby? She just got yeeted into the wall. She's going up the wall now. Yeah, I would not have liked this as a child at all. He's just stood in the corner going, Gina, call the police, dude. Jesus. That was so much more horrific than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, parents, I'll give you that one. Make fizzy milk. So when I was a kid, when Soda Streams came out, I was obsessed with the idea of having fizzy milk because I love a glass of milk. What if it was fizzy? When I floated this a concept on Twitter, you guys said, here's a concept, delete this. Milk left the group chat. <laughs> here's a concept, no, no. Please no. Blocked. But ever since I was a kid, I wanted to investigate this possibility. So, I got myself a soda stream. I feel like this is gonna be a bad idea, because on the back it literally says, to prevent personal injury, only carbonate water. So I am risking my life for this experiment, but I think I need to do it for science. Now, I don't think milk is gonna carbonate at all. So I might have to add a little bit of water in. Like a watery milkshake. I'm scared this is gonna end up with milk all over my legs. There we go. You know the person that invented fire? The person that invented chocolate? This is a significant human event that I'm sure someone else has probably done on YouTube. Here we go. Ooh, it's bubbling. It's, it's doing it. You can press it three times for light fizz, but I'm gonna go five times for full fizz. Oh, oh no, we've got some leakage. I'm trying not to get milk all over myself. I'm scared. Oh God. I, <laughs> I thought it was gonna explode. Jeez, why is Soda Stream so violent? Oh, I'm getting milk on my legs. Put the lid on, give it a little bit of a shake. We'll know if it works, if it makes a fizz noise now. Oh, it did a little bit. Cheers, have I made a big mistake? Is this gonna be horrible? Place your bets now. Okay, I'm gonna do a big gulp. Oh, no, no, oh, 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 it's horrible, <laughs> it's horrible. Oh, oh, it's like, it's got the sparklingness of sparkling water, but then the milk taste is really sour now. I don't know what it's done to the milk, but it tastes disgusting. Oh, no, no, I've betrayed nature. One star <laughs> would not recommend. I need to put something in my mouth that is not milk. Oh, give me some Frosties. Mm. Hmm. Now that combination actually, that's not so bad. Now I feel a bit sick. Um, moral of the story, don't fizz things that aren't meant to be fizzed. So there we go, I think that's enough for today. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up and I'm sure I could do some more of these in the future. Also let me know in the comments below what childhood things you wanted to do but you were never allowed to. And I will see you very soon unless I die from eating fizzy milk. Goodbye.